is going on Gulf Coast Nation guys welcome back to another episode this week we're out on the beach like normal Jack and Adam have a trip just down the beach we have two rods they have two rods they're running a trip we are hanging out with owner operator founder CEO manager everything of Sandbar Tackle LLC Mr. Cody Snell is bringing a good friend of his down so we got the gear here we're about to get unloaded it is really windy I don't know if you guys can tell or not but Blaine and I are gonna outfish Jack and Adam like normal. We've got some good baits. I've got the new Accurate 130 that has not hit the beach yet. Woo! She's nice. She's not, oh look, at, oh my gosh. I'm gonna tell you, never fished Accurate. I've always wanted to, and I've always wanted to have an Accurate 130. So, kind of my dream reel, but you guys know how we do it here at Gulf Coast Nation. We're gonna put it to the test, and then let you guys know if you should, if you should invest in a $2,000 reel. So, we're gonna get the, the reels down, Bait down, cart down, all the gear down there gets set up in this windy conditions and uh, see if these. Oh, do you mind? Yeah. <laughs> Choked a little bit. See if these Texas guys can bring us the good luck that they claim. And it's a little choppy out there, so see if they're really about that Texas life. But we got the Cobra Explorer, so we've done everything we can. Make it easy for them. Hoping they're bringing that Texas luck. Let's do it. Yoo! Gulf Coast Nation is sponsored by Sandbar Tackle, keeping you hooked. Steadfast Rods, the name says it all. Andy Andrews, New York Times best-selling author. Terra Firma Tackle. Austin Legacy Knives, every knife has a story. Tell yours. Blink Slate Customs. Fish Gum, Excite the Strike. Pontchartrain Jigs. This reel was filled with braid. Right up there had a very, very, very short top shot of about 50 yards of 200 pound LP mono and the rest was about 13, 1250 yards of 200 pound braid. So, Ray dropped us about 600 yards there in the middle of summer. Let's see if it pays off. On the long drop, the bait that I told him, show us what Texas is all about. This got picked up and we're tight. Alright, race tight. Getting them in on the long drop and contemplating back and forth right now what kind of shark this thing is on the long drop right now so the main goal is keeping them tight 
keeping all that slack out of the line and keeping that circle hook from sandbar tackle plugged right in the corner. Tail rope, knee hooker. We must have had a lot of June grass move in the area because as he's reeling the shark in, we're getting a lot of grass in the line. So we don't want to get it caught up in the guides, caught up in the reel, caught up in the line, caught up in the rollers. So as it's coming, you see Blaine and I working down and back, pulling grass down, pulling it off, trying to keep this line free. Give a really, really, really good pull right there. So we're more hopeful, maybe rolling out a big bull shark into a big tiger shark. We'll see. One way to tell when it hits the beach. Nothing to ride home about, but a really nice bull shark with some good shoulders on him. Gave us a good tug, and Ray got to experience the old lovely long drop in Florida where you don't stick the Mondo. But these guys are down here. Cody's been here before, but Ray's earning his Florida stripes, and I feel like we run that bait, man. I got a good feeling. Put another bait out there, get it done. Bigger yep. shark? Bigger. Boys, let's do it. Let's go bigger. Let's go. First one of shark, he's going back for more. Good morning guys. We are actually packing up this morning out here in beautiful Pensacola when it's flat like this, the water's clear, and it's late summer. No wind does not mean a good thing. There are no CMs everywhere. They are eating us up. They ate us up last night. It makes it super uncomfortable to stay on the beach. So we are taking our nice bull shark, heading home. Ray, Cody, myself, and Adam are actually going to regroup today, get a new location and game plan in mind, and then we're going to head back to the beach this evening, see if we can't upgrade our nice seven foot six ish bull shark from last night. So, right now we're going to pack up gear, go home, get some sleep, get some food, get some water, then 
reconvene to a different location, see if we can't upgrade that bull shark. Let's do it. Not sure how well you guys can hear me Woo. down there on the beach, but I want to let you know it's day two. Um, I released a video today, so we we're running a little bit late because I had to do all the marketing for the video, get it posted, let everybody know the new video was up, and uh, as you can hear, it's raining. That's why I have the main cam in the truck right now, but day number two with Cody and Roy trying to get that 10 foot foot Ooh, trying to get that 10 foot plus fish on the beach. We have Cam from Blank Slate Customs down on the beach right now, rerunning baits. Cam has not been on the beach for a very long time, but he is our custom rod builder, so he's getting back into it for the fall and winter season with us. So we're excited to have Cam out here. Cam, Roy, Cody, myself, we are scrambling to get baits out right now. The rainstorms are coming through, picking up. Lots of rain, then a break. Cold north wind, so if anything, all this weather is going to hopefully mix it up and uh, land us in a good spot to get a big fish. So I'm gonna head back down to the beach. We'll be GoPros from now on, so just work with me on this quality and the audio. Let's do it. Well, unfortunately, after those rainstorms passed, we had more rainstorms blow in, higher winds, lightning, not ideal conditions, obviously, for Cody and Ray's last night on the beach with us. So we ended up packing up getting out of there with empty hands and although we only ended with one shark in a couple nights we uh, we fished hard Cody and Ray thank you so much for coming it's always wonderful to have our sponsors be involved in general let alone Cody coming down like he does a couple times a year and fish with us it was awesome to, uh, to take the guys out there we've uh, fished with some guys in Texas in the past and it's always come with good results they are uh, they're hardworking guys. Texas is a completely different shark fishery than what we have here in Florida. The uh, the bars are longer. It's shallower for longer. Ergo, they have more rough days. Lots of breakers. Um, you know, we have like the break, the shore break, and maybe the break on the second bar. Texas can have you know places where there's breakers for up to you know four, five, six hundred yards out. They get um, some higher winds in certain areas and stuff like that, so it can be more of a challenging fishery. And then the effort that they put in tends to yield smaller fish. Um, you know, we get bigger fish more often here in Florida. They do get absolute giant fish there in Texas. You just have to know when and where. So, um, you know, we're looking forward to the possibility of maybe very soon going to Texas to, uh, to you know, Try a different fishery there with those guys working hard. That's why the Texas guys come to Florida and they do so good is because when they come here, they fish hard. That's why we do so good in our areas is because we fish hard. So if you're in Florida, you're maybe not having the best of luck, just keep plugging away. Those Texas guys, they come here for four, five, six, seven days in a row and they fish hard. They fish back there in Texas because if they work hard here, one, it's not as hard as work, and two, their uh, you know, reward for their efforts are most likely going to be better, and they find themselves in bigger fish, especially in the winter time. So, that's gonna be it for this week's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it, hope you guys got something out of it. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up, drop a comment below, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already, and we'll see you guys in just a couple days.